Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Sydney. Today I'm going to give you five tips to stop spending money. Uh, this is something that I've been trying to get better at in the new year and these are some tips that I'm going to be focusing on uh, in terms of implementing into my life to uh, eliminate waste and eliminate wasting money. So hopefully these will help you out as well. I just wanted to share them with you. So my first tip for you to stop spending money is to utilize grocery pickup and delivery. I think this is a great, great thing that we now have access to. You have uh, Walmart pickup and delivery, uh, Harris Teeter's pickup and delivery, Target. You have things like Instacart where you can have your groceries delivered to you. You can, um, the way this works is you order them online. So that forces you right there to stick to your list. And I know, especially with Walmart, as you are ordering things online, it shows you your running total on the side. And so that way you can visibly see how much money you're actually spending. And then, you know, you are only buying things that you need because you're not walking around the store. It completely eliminates that impulse buy. So you are only buying food that you need because I feel like we live in a society where we are so wasteful with food. Really only buy the food that you need. I usually like to buy food to last me, you know, two to three days and then uh, I, I will buy more food. I don't, I have a tendency if I try to plan meals and things like that, I buy food for like a week out and then some of it ends up going bad and then, you know, I'm wasting that food. So I personally do better just planning food for two to three days at a time. Then after two to three days, I will order food for the next two to three days or I will pick up food for the next two to three days. And using this online pickup feature has really saved me money so that I'm able to see exactly what I'm buying and plan out what I'm buying and then you just drive up there and you know if you do Walmart or Harris Teeter they bring it to your car you don't even have to go in the store they load it into your car for you and it is just an amazing amazing thing so definitely utilize the grocery pickup and delivery if you want to eliminate that risk of impulse buying and wasting money on things that you don't really need. My next tip to stop spending money is to plan no spend days. And these are days that have really helped me in terms of cutting back on my spending. So you want to plan out days during your month or during your week where you don't go anywhere. You don't spend any money. You eat at home. You, you know, you don't go out to the movies, you don't spend money on leisure things and you stay home and you eat what you have at home, you drink what you have at home, you watch movies at home, you do activities at home or free activities and you have days where you don't spend money. And it really helps if you keep track of these days and you'll start to visibly see actually how much money you are saving by not going anywhere and you know it's not to say don't go out and live your life but plan out how much money you're going to spend and actually set a budget for doing those things versus going out every single day and spending money on impulse buys or going shopping you know write in your calendar days that you can stay home and not spend any money my third tip for you is to become a minimalist and learn about minimalism. There's an amazing documentary on Netflix about minimalism that is completely life-changing. And you don't have to become a complete minimalist, but you can adapt minimalism into certain places in your life where you see that you are buying things in abundance. Like I had a friend and he would buy a new phone case literally every week. And that to me is something that is completely wasteful and unnecessary. Like you don't need a new phone case every single week. The phone case that I have now I've had for over a year and it's completely fine. It's, it's just not something that I buy or see the need to spend money on. You know, unless you get a new phone or your phone case breaks and is no longer protecting your phone, that's something that you don't need to buy. 
So figure out an area in your life where you see you are buying things that you don't really need or like little knickknacks or things like that and eliminate that. Um, figure out, you know, how much of something you actually need and get rid of the rest or don't buy the rest. Um, like blankets, you really only need one blanket. So, you know, don't go out and buy blankets. Something that I don't like to buy that I don't really understand why other people buy are throw pillows. Throw pillows are really expensive and I know they look good on your couch and they're cute, but they're really expensive and they don't really serve a function. So, you know, figure out little things like that that you are spending money on that you actually don't really need or that you're gonna put in a closet somewhere do you actually need it? Do you actually need to spend money on those types of things? And just figure out little items like that and stop buying them. My next tip to stop spending money is to only eat out on certain days of the week. And you know, this is gonna differ based on your situation or when you like to go out to eat. Um, but maybe, you know, save eating out for the weekends. Don't go out to eat during the week. Eat groceries during the week and eat out on weekends. That way you are not, you know, impulsively going through a drive through and spending money or impulsively going and, you know, getting ice cream and spending money. Limit yourself to eating out as much as you can and that is money in your bank account. That's money you're going to save and, you know, going to get groceries is going to be always a lot cheaper than eating out and limiting yourself to eating out will also make you healthier in the long run. It's not usually healthy to eat out. So just be really aware of the days that you're eating out and try to limit those and cut back on them. My next tip for you to stop spending money is to wait 24 hours before you're going to purchase something, especially a major purchase like a car or furniture or something like that. You know, if you see something that you like, it will probably still be there tomorrow. So go home and sleep on it and think about it and figure out if you actually need to spend the money on it, especially if it's not something that you really need, but instead something that you want. Um, you know, leave the store, go home, sleep on it and figure out if this is something you actually want to spend money on. And try to get into a habit of doing that, even with little things. Um, even if you go to the mall and you see a top that you like, and you know the top will still be there tomorrow go home and sleep on it and if you still want it then go back and buy it but you know a lots of times when we get home we really think about what we actually need or what we actually like and you'll decide that you don't actually need it and then that's more money in your bank account so these are my tips for you to stop spending money and i hope they will help you if you have any tips uh, that you implement in your life to stop spending money, definitely leave them in the comments below for me and I will see you guys in the next video.